and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last meme tier Monday deck of the day. We got another deck. We're going to play some Imperial Agra after this also, but uh, this is our last meme tier deck. This is I'm calling this Legacy of Sorrows. This is a combo deck where we are trying to play as many Scribe of Sorrows as possible, play an infinite amount. Every time we play a Scribe of Sorrows, create another one and, and so on. Um, and uh, since Scribe of Sorrows, like that's, that's pretty cool, but that's just two threes. You know, that's just a whole bunch of two threes. That's not big enough. So we're going to be using Iceborne Legacy. Start making them four fives. Play another Iceborne Legacy. Make them six sevens, and so on. And then, uh, you know, then that gets too like too much pressure for our opponents to survive. Um, this deck here, uh, this list is from another streamer, Nola Gold. That's my friend Jody Keith. He was playing this last night, and it looked pretty sweet. Um, it's definitely not the best. You know, that's that's what meme tier is all about. Um, but you know, we can do some some crazy stuff. Uh, so we're uh, we're trying to stay alive. Also, you know, we have cards like Avalanche, the Box, uh, to try to keep aggro down. We can ramp with Catalyst, to stay alive. Um, but you know, then we just got more removal and life gain with Grasp, Withering Whale, Whale, Three Ruination. You know, we're trying to stay alive and get the game going long because then we have to find Scribe of Sorrows also. So we need to find Scribe of Sorrows. Then we need a Scribe of Sorrows to die, and then we need to play another Scribe of Sorrows. So whenever it's summoned, you create a new Scribe of Sorrows in your hands. So we, we basically need to find two of these things. Um, uh, but, you know, like, we can we can use, like, Fading Memories to be our second one. Um, Mist Call, whenever it dies, bring it back. Um, and so on. But, yeah, let's see, let's see how this does. The Legacy of Sorrows. Here we go. This should be pretty fun. So what do y'all what do y'all think of uh, meme tier Monday idea? Do y'all like this idea? Do you, do you think this should be a good this would be a good weekly a good weekly thing? A good weekly addition to the stream. Those y'all watching on YouTube, uh, if you got some meme tier decks that you think would be uh, fun to see on stream that can do some crazy stuff. Uh, you know, leave a comment. Feel free to put your deck list down there. I'll check it out. Let's see. I think we'll just ship them all. I could see keeping Grasp for the Undying, but let's just replace them all. Yeah, I want Avalanche. This hand's a lot better. Playing against Kinku Elusives. So the good news is we can avalanche all these and get like a, a three for one, but the bad news is they're gonna have a couple of absolutely huge creatures. I don't really like that. All right, so if I play Catalyst of Aeons, we have, um, We, uh, next turn, we'd have six mana. I passed here to see what they do, see if we want to Avalanche. They may just take their turn again, and then I just wasted this mana, but... Alright, 4-3. Can brittle steal that? have the best options. Last turn would have been really nice to have the box. Just 
just go down to nine. Love any of our options, to be honest. My life. That's a, such a great card. Replace itself. So it's not like really putting a threat out there, but it's also a 4 4, which is huge, so I have to deal with it. And I have to use just a vengeance to kill this Zed. Darkness. It's gross. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path. Still gross. Yeah, they got this one. I think they got this one. Please control. Vengeance is just so expensive. Seven mana is just too expensive. Alright, playing against another aggro deck, so we may get ran over again. Which I guess the Brittle Steels are there to kind of help us keep good run over. Our deck's not that great against aggro. I mean, well, part of our deck's not great against aggro. The Fading Memories, Mist Call, Iceborne Legacy part of our deck. Not great against aggro. Oh, that's big for us. They didn't have anything to play. That turn, that's really good for us. Alright, so we'll use the box. Try to take out this Draven. Alright, good trade. Alright, there's our Scribe of Sorrows. It's Draven time. I need to keep these Dravens out of here. Yeah, Draven out. Oh, discarded a vision. Use a Withering Whale. Could have definitely used a Withering Whale last game, that's for sure. Okay, let's see.
Go down to seven. It's risky. So we'll put another Scribus Arrows into play, and then Legacy it. Of course I'm ready. I play this, the next turn so we'll have nine mana. Not enough to go double Catalyst of Aeon, so I guess I need a Catalyst of Aeons. Oh no, because wait, let's see, wait, right now we're at six, so the next turn will be seven, eight, so we'll only have eight mana next turn. Ugh. So if I Catalyst, we only have nine. So I guess we might as well have eight. Because then I can play a Scribe and a Catalyst next turn. Oh, come on. Let us have some fun! Good burn deck. No fun allowed. That's why this deck's called the Legacy of Sorrows. It is so sad. <laughs> That's our our sour our sorrows. Our 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 sorrows are us getting run over. Man, that's those are hard to say. What pup? What? Stretch it. We're playing against aggro again. Yes. All right, gonna keep this hand. I'm gonna see getting rid of the legacy. Okay. One hasn't done nothing. Without a sound. Without a sound. Oh. Basically, this thing costs four mana. These other things cost five. Or, like, if we try to grasp, they cost five. And then they just kill us with Zed real fast. Man, it's no fun allowed. My skill is unrivaled. Yeah, 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 you're good. Let me get it. I don't know, do I just do the grass, the undying thing? <sighs> I guess so. I mean, I could pass and see what they do, but they could just... They'd probably, like, if I'm them, I'm probably just, especially if I have any kind of protection, I'm just untapping. They follow the wrong
Why do we gotta be like that? This is just, you know, champions. Like, you know, champions versus commons. The unfair duel deck. Yeah, just go ahead and deny this. Why not? But, you know, think long and hard whether or not you should deny that. You never know. Maybe you don't want to. What's up, Eric? Saying shout out to my favorite streamer. Thanks for all the great content, Todd. You are welcome, Eric. Thank you very much. Bringing that hype. Where are my hype boats at? There we go. Let's get some high boats in here for Eric. Eight awesome months. Thank you, thank you there, Eric. All right, that's a quick 0-3. Opponent's being super mean, super aggressive. All right, at least this opponent won't kill us right away. So we'll, we'll be able to do some stuff before we die. So that's good. Okay, we got a Scribe of Sorrows. Got a Catalyst. Oh, thanks, Eric. Thank you. Hope life... Hope life's treating you well. Alright, we're going to... Yeah, so we'll have Catalyst next... Alright, so if I Catalyst next turn, we got six mana. Should I just play Scribe of Sorrows? What's actually better... I scribe next turn we have four plus three mana wise. Yeah, let's do that. A chill in the air. Arrows at the ready. Okay, we have a scribe died. More scribes. We need the more scribes. More scribes. <laughs> So every single scribe that we play will just create a new scribe. And we don't really need to attack. We can sit back. So now we need to find a nice born legacy and we need these scribes to be bigger. Faster, stronger. We need Iceborne Legacy to achieve that. Because <laughs> we ne we'll never run out of scribes. Come on, Iceborne Legacy. Sense. 
I can do the same thing for 9 mana with these two cards and keep Ruination, which can be a lot more valuable. And we keep this 2-3 into play. I just want to draw an Iceborne Legacy. I just want to live the dream once. Just want to live the dream once. Come on, deck. Let me live the dream once. Legacy. Oh, I thought that was it. Freljord spell. Oh, that was it. Put him down to nine. Get him, Ledros. Get him. Of course, if we have our Ledros die, then then the scribe will sometimes make a Ledros. Look at that, no attacks. Get him. Get him. There's not really any reason to attack with this one, right? Like, they just block with the Anivia. What? Why are you pawing at me? You wanna come up here? Come here. Yes! Let's go! I mean, besides the fact that we're, like, dying horribly here. They just hit a second Anivia? Uh oh. Besides that fact that we're dying horribly. It's still negative six. Just me to three. War Mother's Call is a pretty good card. Not just flesh, rage incarnate. Puts me to zero. Um, well. Guess we grasp that thing. I wanted to grasp post combat. I wanted to grasp the Anivia egg, of course. Even though I just gained three life? 
All right. I thought it told me it was zero beforehand. And so then I played the thing to let me gain three life, and then it was still zero. That's weird. All right, come on, one game. Let's live, let's live the dream one time. We almost had it there. If we, if we would have found the, the Iceborne Legacy a lot earlier, we almost had it there. Thing is, we need the Scribe of Sorrows first. I should just, I should just mulligan it. Oh, because math health is 20. Oh, right. So we didn't actually go to 23, so that the gain 3 didn't do anything. Right, that's true. I mean, if we would have stayed alive for a turn, would not have changed the outcome of that, that game. Sometimes the meme decks work, sometimes they don't. Yeah, hopefully Karina controls slow enough. We need to find some Scribe of Sorrows. I like having Withering Will against Karina control with like their 1-1s. One there we go. All right, there's a Scribe. That's our first Scribe. We need Now we're going to need a second Scribe. Let's cast this this turn. Let's just ramp. See if we can find a second Scribe. Try playing it. I don't think I'm not gonna try playing Iceborne Legacy on it. I'll, I'll see if they just like randomly tap out if they just spend eight mana on something. You know, maybe they play Progress Day. Is that a possibility? Yeah, just Progress Day. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just Progress Day. Just draw three cards. You're fine. Hmm. We need another scribe. Play something else. Dang. That's a good block. Just won't play anything. not gonna play anything you're gonna have to kill him we're not playing anything not for not tapping out and letting me get my legacy of sorrows action going on you know we don't we don't have any other scribe of sorrows right now so it's not like it's not like turning all of my scribe of sorrows into four or fives is that big of a deal right now I can use my harsh winds brittle steel combo, like make make these things not be able to block my ledros. All 
Alright, we need to draw another scribe. Take nine. Come on, take nine. Boo. Good old Ledros never dies. That's a pretty sweet animation. Very satisfying one. Iceborne Legacy Ledros. So they may attack thinking that I can't play another Ledros now. And if they do, then we get to Harsh Winds and Block. It's not that bad, it's just also it's a little unnecessary. Get him, Ledros. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, Frostbite and Fear is pretty strong together. No! No! So they discarded a Static Shock and a Karina Veraza. I just can't play my other Ledro. I can't play my Ledros now. Because I use the Harsh Winds to, to go for it.
I need one more mana. I need to avalanche these to turn them into X3s so that we get to Brittle Steel them. And I need to play my Ledros out. Yeah, you know, you're right, Action Jackson. I, I didn't use the Shadow Isles board. Could have could, could be 5 0 right now. Using the wrong board. Come on, minion. Need your help. Give me some of these Poro snacks. Hoarding all those jewels. We're losing over here. Can't take those losses. those there goes the third we don't have to worry about it get excited it's the third get excited mystic shock down kind of need one more life though I couldn't play spells and play Ledros. They, everything costs more than four. Alright, let's play one more. Let's try to get a win. We all those those games overall lasted pretty shortly. Let's try again. I just want to do it one time. I wanna I want to want to happen one time. All right, we got Scribe of Sorrows. Now we need Iceborne Legacy. And then we need a second Scribe of Sorrows. We need two Scribes and a Legacy. Okay, we got one Scribe and a Legacy. We're, we're getting there. Yeah, Bannerman can kill us really fast too. Our deck's so slow. Do we not have Vile Feast in here? We need to get some Vile Feast in here. Give us something that costs less than four mana. Vile Feast is probably better than Brittle Steel. Like we're sitting here with all these Brittle Steels and Harsh Winds. Like what, what do they do? So you cast the box and just kill the Fiora. Or we put Fiora down to one. And have Wither and Will clean it up later. Play the box. Okay. 
So six mana right now. If I play Scribe, that means we save three mana. So next turn we have eight. I don't really do anything with eight. We kind we need nine to do to do stuff. I guess I could Brittle Steel plus something else. If I play Catalyst, we keep one extra mana, but then we get two more. So next turn we have seven. And we can't we definitely can't do anything with seven. I mean I guess I could scribe an avalanche. Seven. One banner, one destiny. Okay, so now we just need, we need to draw another Scribe of Sorrows. We need one more Scribe of Sorrows that we gotta draw. We gotta find one more Scribe of Sorrows. And then we can go infinite with them. And there'll be four fives. No, that was our second Scribe of Sorrows. Avalanche doesn't work, so I think has a barrier now. Still have six cards. So we're gonna three for one. All right, we need to draw our second Scribe of Sorrows, and then it's on. Once you draw this next Scribe of Sorrows, it is on. Let's go. Almost. Come on, Scribe. So we got two out of 29. My shield is yours. So it's not a great chance that we draw one. Two out of twenty-nine, not a great chance. the second Iceborne Legacy. The second Scribe. Can't we ever have it? One game.
not going well. Yeah, our deck is really emphasizing the sorrow part of our our name. Didn't have the second bannerman, that would have made life a lot easier. Remember the fallen. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. What do you, so I said 3x ruination is surprising. Is that like you're thinking that we don't need three ruinations? Or surprising that we're not drawing them? Like this deck would play like six ruinations if it could instead of these crappy vengeances. Even, how many event how many ruinations would this deck actually play if you could play as many as you could at least five Pro probably five five's probably the number because our, our deck doesn't do anything you need as much defense as possible because our deck doesn't do anything Need to just be casting them a lot of them oh how many scribes and legacies oh probably like four or five legacy but then like i mean you would just play i don't know nine scribes ten scribes like these missed calls would just be scribes the fading memories would be scribes so that's you know that you can just see that being like eight right there All right, but anyway, with this deck, um, oh, now I understand why we're not playing Vile Feast. I was going to say we need Vile Feast as like something that can kill something small and give us a chump blocker, but we can't do that because we can't have the chump blocking Spiderling because once we have a Spiderling die, then uh, we could, then Scribe Saros may start creating Spiderlings. So yeah, we can't, see, we can't even play any units to kill stuff. So we had two games there that we almost almost had it. You know, like one game we needed the Iceborne Legacy, we couldn't find this that game we needed the second scribe. And if I would have waited, you know, we drew the, the missed call right after my scribe died. If maybe if I would have waited to play the scribe or something. Oh, did you did you mention that WQ? I missed that. How do you, how can we get more removal in here? but not things like Vengeance that cost seven mana to only kill one thing. I don't, I don't think we would play She Who Wanders. The deck needs like Vile Feast that doesn't make one ones, but does two damage. Or it, need, it needs Black Spear that doesn't need doesn't need the claws it's just the three mana deal three to a unit or it needs entreat it needs entreat to to draw scribe of that's that's really what we need we need entreat draw scribe of sorrows uh i don't think shatter is it
don't think we're that desperate to play Shatter. I don't know what we would play Shadow over. Shatter over. Dang. Well, Jody got to got this to work last night. Last night, you know, like he had. I saw him have six, seven, uh, Scrabisaros, and you know, just have a board full of six, sevens. That was cool. And then he had another Iceborne Legacy in hand that he was going to cast on it to make him eight nines, and the opponent conceded. So it works sometimes. But yeah, it's a dream. But it doesn't always work. All right. Uh, meme tier deck didn't work out for us that time. But those y'all watching on YouTube, I uh, still hope you enjoyed the deck. Still had fun with it. Um, you know, that's what makes these decks great is that that uh, you don't always get to pull it off. But whenever you do pull it off, it's that much more rewarding. If you have your own uh, meme tier deck that you want me to check out to maybe play next week. Uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section, but thank you so much for watching some Legacy of Sorrows, and I'll see you for the next video.